Looking out for the best in high school football. This is the Coin 6 Blitz. Brought to you by Pacific Office Automation. And welcome to the Coin 6 Blitz. It's round two of the high school football playoffs, and our game of the week is between Westfield and Central Catholic. Yeah, I was out at Hillsborough Stadium to watch this one. Seventh-ranked Central Catholic coming off of a 45-7 win over McMinnville last week. Yeah, first quarter, Central Catholic already up 7-zip, and they're getting started. Malik Thurgood, he hauls in a 36-yard touchdown pass, ramps up 13-0 after the extra point is missed. Still in the first, and it's Amari Hale getting it going on the ground. Hale, he takes it 48 yards. He runs this one out. He had 111 yards rushing in the first half, 21-0 Rams. Westview getting on the board in the second. This is the lineman, Brandon Peely. He's a 325-pounder. He gets a one-yard plunge. And it wasn't enough. Central Catholic moves on with a 45 to 21 win. All right, Stan, what to you was the story of this ball game tonight? Well, you know, I'm so impressed with, uh, with Amari Hale. Mm -hmm. I, I tell you, I talked to his coach, Woody Green, and Woody tells me that this is his first year of playing football, right? He, wow. He's a basketball player, and so he thought, oh, I'll come out for football, and here he is. He's just lighting it up, uh, and he's really good. And then uh, I, I think that uh, Rucker mm -hmm. on the uh, uh, Westview side uh, is spectacular. Wide receiver and a uh, safety, he's a heck of an athlete. Yeah, good analysis there. Top seeded West Lynn at home against Lake Oswego tonight. Let's get right to it. The third quarter. Check out West Lynn's Elijah Molden. The great concentration and interception. Going to keep it going. Huge pickup for Molden and the Lions. And that's going to set this up soon after that right there. West Lynn's quarterback, Tim Tawa, with a 34-yard touchdown pass to Jake Meisen. Just like that, Lake Oswego putting up a pretty good fight tonight, but it's Westland moving on to the quarterfinals with a 63-21 win. And the defending 6A champ Jesuit taking on 16 seed Madison. And Jesuit getting on the board early and off, and it's 7-0 Crusaders when Ennis Ferguson scores one of his six touchdowns on the night. 14-zip Jesuit. Second quarter, Bryston Branch, he takes it up the middle, finds the end zone, puts Jesuit up 21 to nothing. Then later, Jesuit turns to the aerial attack. Quarterback Will Spritznagel, he'll have all the time in the world. Look at that. He just eventually he connects with Demetrius Douglas and Douglas with a nice little spin move there breaks a tackle takes it in 43 yards for the score Jesuit goes on to win this one 56 to 27 we are just getting warm